Hi guys, this is Dekhaudi. I welcome you to this video tutorial on how to create a CRUD application using ASP.NET Core 2.1 on a Mac. For creating an ASP.NET Core application which implements the CRUD functionality, we would need to install SQL Server on our Mac operating system. As you know that we cannot directly install Microsoft SQL Server on our Mac operating system, we have to install it either on a virtual machine or a container-based application like Docker. I have already installed Docker and instance of SQL Server on my Mac operating system. In case if you don't know the process of installing SQL Server on a Mac using Docker container, I have created a step-by-step -step video tutorial and the link for that video tutorial is available in the video description. I recommend you to first go ahead and watch that video, create your SQL Server instance within the Docker container and then start watching this tutorial. So assuming that you have watched my video tutorial or you have already installed SQL Server instance on your Mac using Docker container, you should have Docker up and running. When you click on the Docker icon, you'll see an option which says Kitematic. Kitematic is a GUI based application to start and run or start, stop and run Docker container instances. Go ahead, click on Kitematic and install Kitematic. I have already installed Kitematic, so I'm just going to run the application. As you can see here, Kitematic has will list all the instances or containers that you have created under Docker. So the container that I created was for the instance of SQL Server and I named it SQL underscore server underscore name and it has automatically detected it and displayed it under the containers section. I can click on my SQL Server instance and I can stop my SQL Server from running. I can restart and also I can start. So there are many options that I can use under Kitematic to manage my SQL Server instance or to manage my containers. Now, the other application that you will need is Microsoft Visual Studio. 2017. This is an IDE that is provided by Microsoft and it's freely available from the Microsoft's Visual Studio website. Download the community version. In case you have not downloaded Visual Studio, go open your favorite browser and search for Visual Studio for Mac. The first link, just click on it and just download Visual Studio and install it. I have already installed Visual Studio, so you go ahead and install it. In case you have, you have already installed it, let's go ahead and create a new project. So the project that we are going to create is a .NET Core application. And what we're going to create is a .NET Core Web API. So go ahead, select an application under .NET Core, select app and then select ASP.NET Core Web API. And then create, click on next. Let's name the project as ASP Core CRUD. It's going to store it into its default location projects. If you want to change the location, you can go ahead and create a new folder and you can then give the link of that folder to store your solution. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it as default as projects. I'm going to create the project. Now ASP.NET or Visual Studio will compile the code and create the project. So we have an application template ready for us. 
I'm not going to go into details of what each folder is and what each folder contains because that's not what this tutorial covers. So without wasting any further time, let's go ahead and create our crowd application. So first thing you would want to do is right click and create a folder and let's call this folder as models. Now right click on your model folder and add file, new file. We are going to create a class and we are going to call this class as employee class. Very popular for example tutorial employee. Employee class and let's create this new class. So our employee class has been created. Let's go ahead and create some properties for our employee. So our employee class has been created. The next step that we need to do is to go ahead and create a connection, a connection string to connect to our database. But before we create a connection string, I want you to go ahead and run Azure Data Studio. Once your Azure Data Studio is open, go ahead and try to connect to your local host using the username SA, which is system administrator, server name as localhost, and the password that you used to create your SQL Server instance. As you notice that it's trying to connect to my SQL Server, but it's taking a while and it shouldn't take that long. And the reason, as you see, there's a, there's a connection error. The reason you get this connection error is because after you have installed Kitematic, make sure that your server, that's your SQL Server container, the container that contains your SQL Server instance is running. At the moment, my SQL Server instance is not running. I need to first start it in my container. When my SQL Server container is running, I should try to connect now, try to connect to my SQL Server. And as you see, I was able to connect within seconds. So if any one of you are not able to connect to the SQL Server instance using Azure Data Studio and are getting some connection error, please first go ahead and check under Kitematic if your SQL Server instance is up and running. If not, then start it and if it's running then just restart it and you should be able to connect to your sql server instance on azure data studio now let's go ahead and minimize this and create our connection string to create our connection string we will open our app settings.json file Within our app settings.json file, we are going to create our connection string that we will use to connect to our database. So we will create connection string. So first thing that we need to provide is the name of our connection string. We will name our connection string as default connection. And then we will provide the string that is used to connect, that contains the link to connect to our, the information to connect to our database, like the username, the password, the database name, and the type of server. So the type of our server is localhost so we'll say it's localhost and then what we need to do is we need to provide the port number so in azure data studio i'm sorry in your kitematic you'll be able to see the port number which is 1433 
that's localhost 1433 so let's provide a port number which is 1433 then semicolon to end the server now let's provide the database name you can provide anything that you want or anything that you like for your database name i'll name my database as asp code crud db that's my application name followed by db and now you need to provide the username and password to connect to your database so my user is sa and my password is docker sql123 you should enter the password that you used to create your database or sql server instance so now that's it for our connection stream so in the next video tutorial i will show you how you can create your application db context class that we will use to configure our services in startup.cs class so that's it for this video tutorial as i don't want this video to be lengthy thank you for watching